let's do something interesting today. In this video, I'm going to build a solar water heater and it uses a solar pump that I got off of Amazon for 30 bucks. That's it. 30 bucks. The rest of the materials I had lying around the house. Basically what I did was I copied a whole bunch of the YouTube creators that made solar water heaters and built one myself. So let's see how it goes and at the end you're going to see if it actually works and how much it actually heats. Simple tech. That's the name of this channel and we have piles of other videos on greenhouses and growing that you can check out after this video. Mind you, this video is on alternative energy. That being said, you can really use that to heat your greenhouse because greenhouses are expensive to heat. Now, if you hit that like button, it doesn't just help me. It helps you because YouTube will then know this is the kind of topic you want to see more of and it'll serve up all kinds of similar videos to this that you can check out. So hit the like button. I start by spray painting an OSB board. You need to have the inside black because black gets more heat in the sun. I used Rust-Oleum Quick Color. It was one of the cheapest paints I could get my hands on. Next, I just strap some PEX using some metal straps that I had lying around the garage to the painted OSB board and circle them around so I can get a continuous water flow within my solar heater. The more things you spray black, the hotter your solar heater is going to get. Who says you need new tools when rusty old ones work just as good?
PEX is a wonderful material. You buy the right ends and a crimper and away you go. That's it. It's that easy. Okay, what's amazing here isn't that the solar pump is pumping water, but that it's pumping water on a cloudy day. So here's the summary at the end of the day. Did it work? Yeah, sort of. It got me about 10 degrees to 15 degrees more in temperature. And I realized my problem was I need more tube. If you look at how I built this, I didn't put enough PEX tubing in to give the water enough time to heat up. With double or triple the amount of tubing, or even four or five times the amount, I get a lot more heat. So, as an experiment, it worked, sort of, but next time I'm going to go a lot bigger.